Hi, my name is Aparna Bhatia and this week's tech tip is about how to create dependent views in Revit. So let's get started. So sometimes you might have really large plants like this that have multiple units and you might need to create unit plants for them. So it could be something like a furniture plan, a floor plan, um, maybe panel layout plan uh, as an example. So the best part about dependent views is that I can add all my annotations to the overall view, which is the main view, and then uh, I can have those annotations show up in the minuscule views or the dependent views that are created um, using scope boxes. So we have this overall view, we have created scope boxes for each unit, and now we're going to start creating dependent views. So here I'm going to right click my overall view and I'm going to use duplicate view command here and I'm going to duplicate as a dependent. So we're going to click that button. We're going to do this quite a few times. So um, I'm going to do that for all my 12 units and get right back. All right. So we created all of our um, duplicated uh, dependent views. And uh, you'll notice that when I go to unit one, um, it's already shrunk down to the size that I need it to be. And that's because I applied a scope box to it, which was specifically for unit one, because I have the same unit one on all four levels and uh, I want it to follow that scope box size. All right. So um, I already added the scope box for unit one. But by default, when you duplicate your um, views as dependent, it will take whatever the overall size or the overall view crop uh, is. So in our case, there is an overall scope box applied. So when I come to unit 12, I just have to reassociate this to be unit 12's scope box. And there you go. It will shrink the view and uh, create it to be the size of unit 12. All right. So now the best part about dependent views, like I mentioned, is you can do annotations in the view, um, in the overall view, and you can have them show up in these individual views. OK, so I'll just show you an example. So maybe I'm going to insert um, or not insert. Sorry, I'm going to type in CM. I'll add in a component and let's say. All right, so maybe we have a chair here um, and we have the same chair in every unit. Maybe we have one here, here, here. That's probably not a great place to place it. <laughs> so we, we're going to have chairs in all of these units, right? Well, the chair will obviously show up in that view because it is a 3D object. But now the annotation for that chair, so if I was to um, place text or sorry, TX for text um, and have an annotation for that chair over here saying that I'm going to, I'm just going to call it a uh, single chair, desk chair. All right. So now I want to copy this annotation all over. So I want to have it here. I want to copy it over here. I want to copy it over here. Um, maybe adjust that a little bit. There you go. And maybe I want to copy it here as well. OK, so now that I've copied it all over, it's much easier to copy it in multiple like in a single view like this instead of jumping between multiple views uh, to create your annotations. So now when I go down uh, into, say, let's say unit four here, you'll notice that I can see single desk chair here and I can see single desk chair here. And the reason I can see this one is because my annotation crop for this uh, view crop is a little too far. So maybe I can shrink that down and I can get rid of the uh, the note that I had written for the unit below. All right. So just a quick tip for that. Um, and now let's say that I need to apply these exact same um, dependent views onto level two, level three and level four. So if I go to level two, it kind of looks similar to the uh, level one overall plan. So I'm just going to apply my overall scope box here. And now I want to apply um, the, you know, the view tree over here that I have for all the units to level two and level three and level four. So how do I do that? Um, I can right click 
on the level one view that I've already created the dependent views for. And then I can choose to apply dependent views. All right. So if I choose to apply dependent views, I need to make sure that whatever views I want to try and apply this to have to be the same scale as the original view that I am copying from. All right. So right now my level, um, if I click on level one over here, you can see it says level one, the scale, uh, the view scale is one over eight inch is equal to one foot. Um, so if I go to level two, uh, over here, you'll see it says level two, it's one over eight inch equals to one foot. So we can definitely copy the views into level two. So what I can come here and do is click on the original one, right click, apply dependent views. And now I can choose the views that uh, it will typically show the views that are the same scale. Um, and now I can choose the views that uh, I want to apply the dependent views to. So in our case, it's two, three, and four, and I'll hit OK. And it creates all of our dependent views here. You'll notice that these ones are called unit one and this one's called dependent one. Uh, it's very easy to fix that with a Dynamo script like this, uh, where it looks for the word dependent and replaces it with unit. Um, and run that script really quick. And you'll notice that all of our dependent views that we created got replaced from dependent to be unit. All right. So that's it for this week's tech tip. Have a great